Abdullah this Saturday. Well, hello and welcome everybody to the class. I'm back. Yeah. Okay, Brahim. So if you could just uh, let me see your video, please. Videos on everybody. It's good to see you all. You know, it's really nice. I'm taking yeah. Okay. There's Humera joining in. <clears throat> okay. So today, you know, what we're gonna do, right? Um, I just want to know whether any of you remember any poem, poetry. Do you all remember any poetry? Hmm? Ma'am, gunpowder. Um... <laughs> oh, the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. It should not be forgot that one, right? Which okay. we sang, and there was a competition. Oh, no, no. I don't mean right now poetry, but anything from your past, any poetry you remember, any poem. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, fantastic, you know. Yes, thank you, Yahya. Why not? Anybody else? Humpty, Dumpty, Sat, or what? Well, that doesn't suit you. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. <laughs> yes, Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Humpty, Dumpty, Sat, and wall. Okay, anybody else? Come on, I want yes, one. Some papers go round and round. Oh, yeah. We did have that while we went camping, you know. So the wheels of the bus go round and round. Ma'am, I have a poem, ma'am. Ma'am, oh, ma I had a poem. I made it myself. Everyone okay. have to mute, ma'am, because I am sharing the video, ma'am. Oh, okay, like, okay. Uh, please, everybody, mute yourself. Mr. Ibrahim is what is sharing the video. Yes, ma'am, one minute. I am a big girl. Up and Ma'am, can you hear the hear? Ma'am, there is a problem, so I can't. But ma'am, I, I can I like tell? Please, please recite. Yeah, ma'am. Just a minute, ma'am. I will revise it. I am a baker. Come and look, come and see what is at the bakery. Dazzling, lovely, amazing. Um, delicious cookies, cakes and pies. It will come before your eyes. Come and look, come and see what is at the bakery. Thank you. Very nice, Ibrahim. That was really, really nice. Okay. So, well, others, when we remember Twinkle Twinkle and uh, Johnny Johnny and Wheels on the Bus, Ibrahim has written his own one. But it's all right. You know, we are also cool, right? Uh, Mamadi, what about you? Which is your poem? Which one you remember? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 Okay, I'm, I'm asking you, Muhammad, not Samiha or not Tarannum, all right? Man, woman, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pile of pot. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill went trembling after. I only know this much. Oh, it is only that much, okay? There's no, no oh. more to it. Okay, yes, I was brilliant. Come on, your point, poem, which you remember. Any poem? Any, any, which you remember? Don't do it. No, no, you have to. We, today we are not going to go ahead in the session till you don't say a poem for us. Is it right, everybody? I mean, yes. wait two minutes. Okay, I have to wait for two minutes, right. Okay, who better talk? bridge is falling down, ma'am. Is it? So who's going to help the London Bridge? You know, by the way, in London Bridge poem, the bridge that they show, it's real. It's not London Bridge. It's Tower Bridge. 
and the London Bridge is different. So, anyways, they fool you up and yes, you have to believe it. Yeah, we believe that. So, Mera, what was Man, there is a bingo was his name. Oh, that is also cool. Bingo okay. was his name. I Which, don't really remember. There was once a farmer had a dog. That was my favorite poem when I was small. Which one? The one that Ibrahim said, Bingo. Bingo was his name. I also loved it, man. Go on, Amina. Yes, yes, Mamadi. Old McDonald's. I and you. I and you. I and you and Bingo was his name. Yes, yes, yes. And what about that Spanish one? We are going to the market and we are going to the fair. Remember anybody? To see a senorita with the flowers on her hair. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it on your baby shark. Oh, yes, baby shark. Did you see that video during pandemic? The police, you know, just to entertain and boost the morale of uh, all the citizens yes. who were feeling low. The police were doing the baby shark, you know, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Who can do that? Who's so cute who can do that, you know? Yeah, it's just my girls who can do it. They're really cute. And it's just right away when I asked him about his poem, okay? He just disappeared. All right. So, well, uh, and then you had this clippity clippity claw. Okay. Ma'am, um, we also had blah, blah, black sheep. Yeah. Blah, blah, black sheep. And we had it converted in our, uh, like, you know, <coughs> mother tongue. Gujarati. Yeah. Yes, Anas, Anas, what about you? Yeah, I'm Gujarati. Yes, yes, please, go on. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up about the world. So I like a diamond in the sky. <laughs> Anas, thank you so much, you know. But please don't teach a poem like that, you know. Okay, you know when uh, Farhana Abdullah, they were small babies, you know. Yes, Abdullah was a baby, don't worry. You know, Rujda is shocking for you that, you know, how can this monster be a baby? But yes, he was a baby monster. And I used to make my own poem, okay. And it would be like, you know, mix up my own words and everything. So it was like, moon and the stars in the sky say tonight. My little Abdullah is the cutest of all. He's my darling and he's my angel. He is the best baby of all. Right? So I used to make my own poem. In fact, lots of it. So anyways, today, I guess you know the topic. And that poem also. Um... Um, lal parang pe so ja, mommy, papa, lenge, lal yes, yes, yes. We asked Rushta to sing that poem. Come on, Rushta. We want you to sing that one. What poem? Yeah. So you you hear me out, okay? And then you say, soja, beti, soja, lal palang par soja. Teri mummy aayegi, lal khilona laayegi. Okay? Four lines. Oh, no, 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 you don't go scuba diving in that water. Yeah, at all. It's all right. It's so simple. So, S-O-S-O, right? You can do that. Okay, so anyways, uh, coming back to, there are many lullabies. Yeah, definitely. Coming back to the topic, I think you guys have guessed the topic for the day. It's a poem, okay? And today, I'm going to get you something interesting, poetry. <coughs> okay. By the way, I just like this, so I picked this up as a theme, you know, it's so cute, you know. Uh, I don't know if, whether it relates to my poetry or no, but then it's all right. Okay, so it's the poem name is My Big Fat Cat, okay? And it's like, uh, we start over here. <clears throat> yeah, I own a big fat cat. The fat is for miles around. Wherever there's lots of food, that's where he'll be found. He's really good at eating. It's a talent, I suppose. I'm sure if he keeps at it, he'd win the talent shows. I own a big fat cat. He weighs at least a ton. He couldn't run to save his life. Yes, he isn't much fun. His favorite room's the kitchen. I'm sure we all know why. He eats just about everything. So that's why with the sigh. Okay. I like to tell you, teacher, I like to tell you straight, I might have accidentally dropped my homework in his plate. 
Yes. I know, isn't it fantastic? Yeah, a big fat cat. Yeah. Ma'am, I will also drop my homework in excuse to not do it. Ma'am, I will also drop my homework in that plate, in his plate and it will leave. We all will have to go to the Rizwani's house, you know, to drop the homework in the plate, yeah. Ma'am, our cat doesn't suppose, it, she eats us so big, ma'am. She eats so big and she, like she's the bride, ma'am. She just sits at one place for the whole day. Okay. And sleeps a lot. Oh, okay. So yes, this is an excuse for not doing the homework. Okay. Why do you think I use this form? No, Mamadi. It's, it's just it's, it's just being Mandela. The cat is not dead, Mamadi. It's just being Mandela. It stuffed itself by eating, and now it's just being lazy. And that's why what Mandela is. That's why I was telling he couldn't run to save his life. Yeah. That then, means if there's a danger, she's so fat and lazy that she wouldn't run, right? Yes, thank you, Rushda. Thank you so much. What is the other reason I took this form for you all? Ma'am, I have one more excuse that I was doing uh, I was doing homework on my terrace and my book fall down and the road uh, and my, uh, and one car uh, came and, um, and then... Uh, Make it yeah. See the stomach of the cat, ma'am. It is so... I know. Imagine. Okay. So one of the reasons I took this phone from Mandela is because none of your like We are a foodie. Except for my Amina. Okay. Amina is and all... And then we are all are foodie, ma'am. Thank we you, Ibrahim. In business studies also, you are talking about Pani Puri and burgers and fries and all. Can you imagine what foodie, what level foodie you guys are? I mean, the Tuggers were shocked and surprised, you know, when I had a session with them. I said, did you see my Mandela? They're so cool and interesting. Like, you know, they talk about everything. And they were like, ma'am, Pani Puri, business studies? I said, yes, that's the way we are, right? So, yes, you guys are funny and for homework. Okay, now tell me one thing. He's given an uh, excuse of uh, accidentally dropping it uh, in the cat's plate, okay? What excuse would you give, guys? I want an excuse from all of you. Yeah, yeah, give me a good excuse. Oh, don't worry, Rushda. You have to eat the one I make. It's really yummy. Okay, I'll, I'll you no know, once. Uh, maybe uh, sit down. Uh, uh, once I'm back from Gujarat, uh, I'll then invite the entire Mandela's to my place. Okay. Okay, come on, start with your excuses, guys. Y'all are very good. Ma'am, I, uh, I, I, I got one poem that for kids that one, um, um, that, um, Badmash and all that, Rash and Badmash. Which one is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not getting it. Well, I don't remember that poem. But I remember, it was, but I remember, I remember one also when I was no, in junior I, I don't want poem right now. I want excuses for not giving the homework. Here he used an excuses. What? Ma I poem? want to say a poem. It is very interesting. Okay, tell me. Ma when I was in junior KG, then my friend told me, Katti to Bhatti, Bara Baje Katti, Bara Baje Bhatti, you eat Mud and I will eat chocolate. Yeah. No, no, no. You have to say it in Hindi. The whole poem is in Hindi. You're spoiling the rhyme of the Hindi. Right, Mamadi? Yeah. Say it in the Hindi. Go on. Let's Yay. Guys, Rushda, this was for you. Did you understand, Rushda? No, no. no, I wasn't even listening. Oh, God. you know, guys, this is like, oh my goodness, she doesn't even listen to you. Okay, coming back, guys, give me excuses. And I don't want anybody typing. I want to hear you out. What excuses would you give for not doing my homework? I say my baby girl, girl got mad at me and started rage tripping my homework, and I couldn't do anything because it was my home. Ma'am, ma'am, I have one more. Yes, yeah, yeah, go on. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the excuse is um um my um uh, my my book accidentally fall um on my um on my baby sister's um that um uh, playing games so uh so 
she took pen and scribbled my homework. Okay, I'll give an excuse. Okay, ma guys. I've got one, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, I've got one. I can give up a project homework. No, no project homework. Please, we are doing this right now. The, yes, Abdullah. The book in which uh, I did my homework. I was going to school and I was putting it in my bag. I was down and my book fell and there was a very uh, furious I dog. In my book. A uh, alien ate your homework. Ma'am, can I say? Yes, Amina. Ma'am, after Amina, I will say. Yeah. Uh, I was keeping my homework on my desk and then it flew away and when my mom was vacuuming, it went in the vacuum. Well done, Amina. <laughs> it, 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 it's so believable. Also. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Yeah. Yes, tell me. Yes, Ibrahim. Ma'am, I was going to buy a chocolate cake from for my short break yeah, of no school food. and and then I was I was reading my book and then suddenly there was a rock and the I jumped out of the uh, I jumped out of the uh, that muddy what will you say puddle muddy puddle and then the book fell down accidentally. Oh, that is sad. You know that is really sad. Okay, but again an uh, acceptable excuse. Yes, Mamadi. My mother gave me too much chores. I slept and then I wake up on Maghrib and then I read my Maghrib and then went down to play. You know what? I will not believe that your mom gives you lots and lots of work. So I will not accept that excuse. Yes. Umaira, Anas, what about you? What excuse would you give? Yeah. You know, I was watching, uh, I was doing my homework, guys. And my kids were watching uh, Harry Potter. And guess what happened? Yeah, guess what, what happened? Harry Potter came. A miracle, the yeah, a a miracle happened. He took homework. So you know what he did? He came out of the television. He took my homework to show it to the class out there. Can you believe it's that? Potter. Even Harry Potters don't do their homework. So can I have these kind of excuses, guys? Ma'am, I have an excuse. Yes, tell me. Now let your imagination go wild. Yes. I started on my homework, but my pen ran out of ink. Mm -hmm. My pet ate my homework. My eyes got wild. <laughs> nice one. Vera, that too rhyming. Excellent. Okay, so can I have now weird, imaginative uh, excuses? Ma'am, I have one excuse. Yes. After your yeah, yeah, no, moment, please, you say, yeah. Nobita didn't do the math homework, so he knew that his mom and uh, his teacher will shout at him. So he accident, uh, he he came out of the television and took my homework. And no, that, came. no, 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 you're coming me, yeah, yeah. You're coming me. No, 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 can I say? No, I have one. No, I, have, I, I also no, you're want to say. Yeah. Do I have one, ma'am. I have one. Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, after Amina, I will say. Yes. Ma'am, after time, I will say. Okay, so Mohammadi, go on. I'm going to Harry Potter again. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yes, ma'am, ma where are you? I, I, I kept my home. I was watching Saitama and then Saitama did one punch, but then his punch is very strong. So then he, he so, um, his punch was so strong that the air flew my homework and then my homework went down and then the birds took it. Wow, imagine the bird took Man, it. Ma'am, I want to say. Yes, Man, can I say? No, no, Amin and then your Ibrahim and then Abdullah. Okay, okay. go on. Anna, still that time you have to think I'm coming back to you again. Yes, I have not. I, ma'am, I have not. Uh, ma'am, I have not completed. Yes, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. Give me another excuse because the TV and Harry Potter were my theme. Come up with another theme now. Yeah, tell me, Amina. I kept my homework on the floor, and Harry Potter came and put the invisibility cloak on it, and I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah, that's the reason you couldn't get it for me, right? Yes, Ibrahim. Nice one. I was playing Brawl Stars, and suddenly. Shelly came and took my homework so that he could save and uh, read the future formulas. <laughs> okay, right. Yes, Anonymous. Ma'am, I was seeing Avengers and then Iron Man and uh, Thor and Captain America. They they all, all three uh, uh, like threw their weapons and 
at the same time and it went uh, it came out of the tv and the lighting struck my my paper my homework and then the shield and then iron man uh, that whatever it comes from his hand it just, it burnt it off and the shield took and the, it came in the shield and the shield went back and i was like no is your home is your home intact abdullah huh is your <laughs> is your home intact with the after all those you know those special powers and all the uh, problems that you had no, so it struck okay. directly on the paper ma'am my oh, home was okay. safe but stuck on the paper only. okay great yes i did my homework yes anybody else come on anas rushda anas something ma'am i was saying ma'am the same and i was sitting um uh front of the window then thor uh, threw hammer um, come in the my home paper only oh that is sad anas i was you know, completing thor, my math thor is very naughty ma'am can i say yes ibrahim i was completing my math homework suddenly my mom bashed in and she was serving uh, i thought that she is going to shout and then she served me orange juice and then suddenly she did not see and uh, the cupboard uh, uh, she st- uh, like uh, she did not see and then she fell down and the juice came on the book and the whole book was spoiled my homework Ooh. was full this is then also a plausible thing you know the other day i was doing my homework you know and uh, all of the sudden like <clears throat> the pages flew out and guess what there was a lion out there guys you know and the lion wanted to clean his teeth so he used my book for that so anyways i like your excuses which you have made guys okay and uh, moving ahead with the uh, session okay with our poem okay ma'am i yeah. have an excuse yes please tell me i was doing my math homework and the question was in my um, in my in my phone my phone's battery was low so the ba- uh, battery came out and took all the numbers <laughs> Nice one, yeah, yeah. That's an excellent one. Okay, okay. Yes, Momini, Momini and Rushda, come back to the conversation. Yes, ma'am, I have one. Yes, anonymous. Spider Man took a uh, Spider Man to a uh, Spider Man took my paper with his web. He took it and brought it back. Then he told me in exchange, I will give you a ride of Navi Mumbai <laughs> hole in the air. So I told that is so good, that is so better than doing my homework. Take it. And then I had a ride on Navi Mumbai hole in the air. Wow, Jilla, that's good. You know, so you trained your homework for a ride of Navi Mumbai. Okay, now coming back to my poem, my next question to you is: Okay, you gave me a very good, uh, <clears throat> a perfect thing you gave, as in the excuses you made. Okay, here the poet. Okay, he's talking about his cat. Okay, and all animals have distinct qualities <clears throat> okay they have a distinct quality distinct characteristic here he's talking about her, his cat eating a lot okay and uh, having being very very lazy okay so if you were to have a cat i mean sorry if you were to have a pet okay any any animal can you give me any animal's distinct characteristics can you do that means means here he spoken about cat and how it's lazy and eats the whole day okay so can you give me any characteristics of other animals you can pick up animal of your choice and you can give Man, me my internet was gone can you say again here the poet poet speaks about cat and the two characteristics of the cat that he gives is like she eats all the time and she is lazy okay i want you to give me one animal each one of you and it has to be a different animal yes. okay and give me two characteristics according ma'am, to your... I have one. Yes. ma'am i have one okay abdullah wait yaya said first yahya then abdullah then mohammadi okay go in an order yes ma'am um um i uh, uh, my pet is um tiger um when when he sees meat or anything like that means meat and Go and all. 
so he jumps and they uh, take oil so that um so means we have to um uh, keep it um tied and then the second character stitches um he is very fast if we run um if, if we run a car also a formula car also then also he is very fast wow so uh, yeah you you live in dubai no man so you having tiger as a pet so i'm just wondering whether you living in dubai okay yes abdullah you can have funny characteristics also it's pretty all right guys go on <coughs> Ma'am turtle, ma'am turtle is uh, so uh, so that that if there is thoda sa darkness also, na it will go to sleep. So that means what? Sorry, fill in the blanks for me. I will very not bad. explain. Very bad. It is very Please lazy. Bad. Okay. It is very lazy, ma'am. Because okay. when it's th thoda sa dark. Na no, no, I don't accept the word thoda sa dark. I want a proper language word. Come on, English. <laughs> very little darkness. Okay, and what's the second characteristic of the dog? And what's the oh, second okay. one? I'm I'll say after Muhammad. Um, no, ma'am. There is no second. No, you. I need your second one as well. Yes, Muhammad. Go on. Ma'am, um, my animal is horse. Yay! Kabrak, kabrak, kabrak. Yes, Ibrahim. First characteristic is characteristic is 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 a horse. It has very strong and muscles limb, and it is very good limbs. Okay. Legs. Limbs are what? Are thighs? No. It is very good and very muscle like thighs. Okay. Because I saw one horse. And okay. second characteristic is, is they are very friendly to human if you treat them good. Okay. Right. So.
Okay. Right. Ma'am, ma'am, I have all done. I have one, huh? No, 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 not now. No, no, not now, not now, not now. I'll come to you all later because uh, we're going to do an activity on that definitely. Okay. Now coming back to my poem. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Right. Whenever, let's analyze the poem now, okay? Whenever you read a poem, okay, there are a few things you will always have to remember, okay? Whenever you're reading the poem, the first thing is the theme of the poem, okay? So what do you think is the theme of this poem? Excuse. Thank you, Amina. Excuse, ma'am. Perfect. The theme of the poem is excuse out here. So every time you read a poem, you should remember some few things. Okay, yes. so that means you have to know the theme of the poem. Yes, Amanda. Ma'am, it is about cat also, ma'am, because in every poem there is cat. Ah, uh, but yes, you could say cat. I will talk about cat being a character in the poem, but the theme is giving excuses. Okay. Now, second thing is you need to know the tone of the poem. What What do you think is the tone of the poem? Guilty. Okay. Good one, Rushda. What is normal? Normal. Normal. Okay. Confident. Confident. <laughs> I know. Foodie. Sorry. Foodie. Foodie. Okay. Ma'am, the poem is about excuses or about the big fat cat. It's about the excuse, but he's using the big fat cat for the excuse. So the theme of the poem is uh, making excuses, okay? Ma'am, ma ma but there is only it. one excuse in the end. The other no. is about the big fat cat. No, but then it's all right. Yeah, that's no, all one. one poem. Yeah. Ma'am, this all is a poem, but I had to break it down into pieces for y'all to be able to read it correctly. And remember, the theme is the crux, the main core of the poem, okay? And the tone, the tone, yes. come on, guys, give me the tone. What's the laughing, tone? Of the laughing tone. tone. Yes, laughing tone. exactly. So what would you call that? Laughing. No, no, laughing. Give me a better word for it. Come on, guys, you're Mandela. Humorous. Humorous. Yes, comedy. thank you. Thank you. It's humorous. It's a comedy, right? So the tone is set in a comedy mood, in a humor mood. Okay. Now, who is the speaker of the poem? Narrator. The child. The owner of the cat. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? You guys are so brilliant. I don't need to do poetry with you all. Yes, the speaker is the owner of the cat, the child. He is the speaker. Okay. Now, my next question is the speaker and the one who's written the poem, that's the poet, are they two the same or separate? Same, ma'am. Same. Okay. Sepa separate, ma'am, maybe. We okay. can't know that until we know the author. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, uh, there's no, the author name is not there, ma'am. Okay. So, our uh, author is Michael. Okay. We leave that. But what do you think? Okay. And he's, uh, uh, I mean, I think he's in his 40s or something. Ma'am, they're both the same because, um, because, in, uh, because he, uh, he has read, I, I am, I, <clears throat> okay, so first person. Ma'am, he's explaining. Ma'am. Yeah, uh, go on. He's go explaining. On, he's, uh, he's explaining uh, moments of his past in this poem. Wow, I like the way you guys think, you know. So, I mean, fantastic, okay. So, uh, um, Yahya is giving a logical explanation because he's using I, okay. And uh, uh, Rushta is saying that maybe he's recollecting his past and he's put it down on pen. Yes, what others think? Come on, Mohammadi, Anonymous, Amina, Ibrahim has said separate. He's writing about. Ma'am, I go with Yahya, ma'am. Okay. He's writing the... about his friend's incident, but he's, he's, he thinks that he's his friend. Okay. So, is it maybe he's writing about his childhood incident? Childhood. Okay, okay. Or right. maybe, ma'am, he's a children only and then he's writing in the future. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> Many times, you know, the poet is different than the speaker. Many times. Okay. Many, many times. Okay. Here, 
There is no way we know whether he's writing about his past or he's just writing a simple poem, okay? But there are many times there would be that the poet, the person who's written, okay, and the speaker in the poem are two different people. Okay, we'll do the examples later, okay? So over here, I leave it up to y'all. Y'all can think whatever because here we don't have, it's ambiguous. That means there is nothing clear. So it's up to you if, if Ryan says it's separate, that the poet is somebody different and the speaker is different. I agree with you, Ibrahim. Others say that, you know, it is basically maybe <clears throat> it's the same uh, person and talking about his childhood or the past or uh, uh, Mohammadi says he's talking about the friend. I leave it to you. It's all about your imagination. You know, the best part about poetry is everybody has different imagination and different way to understand it. Okay, and nobody is wrong because it's up to you. It's up to your thinking, your analysis, you know, your analytical thinking, your creativity, how you could go ahead. Okay, now, last thing I want to do today about poem, there are more things how to analyze the poem, but here I'm going to end over here only. It's the rhythm pattern. Okay, so do, is there any kind of a rhythm pattern over here? Yes, ma'am. He's starting about, uh, about introducing the cat and then in the end he gives this. Excuse. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you know what a stanza is? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma like, it's like small, uh, it's like small paragraphs. Okay. A couple of sentences made. Uh, a couple, like, nice. one of these right. small paragraphs. Like every end we have like commas and then... Um, I, Fantastic. I, I, so a, a group of lines that are clubbed together is your paragraph. So if I, uh, sorry, is a stanza. So if I start, I own a big fat cat, you know, that, till that's where he'll be found. That's my first stanza. Then there's my second stanza, third, fourth, and fifth. So this poem has five stanzas. And what are the, like, you know, rhyming? Do, do I find any kind of rhyming out here, guys? What is the rhyming pattern? Yes, Mohammadi, what is the rhyming pattern out here? Ma'am, 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 ma'am. After ma'am found an around. Found well done. around. Then? And turn and ma'am, turn and fun. Very good. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, suppose and show. Why and sigh. You could say that. Straight and plate. Suppose and show. Ma'am, every bag, uh, every stanza um, means where where um, means second line in the last line. Every stanza has um, perfect, perfect. So if you notice the rhyming pattern out here is that in every stanza, the second and the fourth line are rhyming. Okay, so if I have to put it in the word of poetry, okay, guys, how will I put it? I'll just I'll annotate out here. I'm allowed to annotate, right? So my rhyming pattern will be, my first line is A, supposingly, okay? My second line <coughs> rhyming is B. Third line is C. And the fourth line rhymes with my second line. So which alphabet will I put on the fourth line? B, ma'am. Thank B you. B and... B and D will rhyme. No, no, B. Right? B and B, yeah. So my rhyming pattern is A, the first one doesn't rhyme. The B is the second line. C, again, the third line doesn't rhyme. But the fourth line rhymes with my second line. So whichever... Yes, that's the I'm pattern. Saying, yeah, so that's the pattern. So my rhyming pattern out here is this. A, B, C, B. Ma'am, I want to say something. Ma'am, in different poems, different rhyming patterns are yes, there. Sometimes they are uh, under each other or sometimes they are crossly. So perfect, it, perfect, uh, perfect. Poet. Perfect. Poet. So each poem has, you know, maybe somewhere it will be A, A. The first two lines are rhyming. So, you know, there it would be A, A and B, B. Okay, A, A and B, B. Like limericks will be A, A, B, B, A. That means my first, second, and my last line, uh, last line is going to rhyme in limericks, and my third, uh, <coughs> fourth, and my fifth are going to do in the limericks. If you see A, A, the first and the second, 
and the last then means we can put any patterns it's up to us see this and is what ma'am you know this is we are a beginner guys analyze the poem this is the way you're going to analyze the poem the rhyming pattern and all okay so i hope you're clear with the rhyming pattern out here yes ibrahim go on tell me ma'am if we are a beginner beginner then uh, in every poem there are like in every poem it doesn't mean if it is rhyming or not we can you, do our yeah. own see haiku does not rhyme that yeah, it is not just only one type of poem you have we learned haiku also no last yeah. year yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so there are many types of poem okay and maybe they might might not rhyme but these are the patterns we're going to see okay now i'll just come to the uh, session ending okay this is what i want from you guys okay we've done this we've done this okay go on now i want you all to write a four line stanza about your pet okay but even if you don't have just use an imaginary pet okay and i've given you you know like our stanza was i own a big fat cat okay but the same thing i want you to start filling in now i don't own it i don't own a pet and it doesn't matter it's your imaginary even if you don't own you have to imagine and yeah i speak japanese yeah go on i own a fast um jaguar um the fastest around for miles around okay um then wherever there's lots of meat okay that's where he'll be from okay come on who's going next i'm can i go yes ibrahim <laughs> you you need okay. not be you can go humorous you can go more creative you can go gothic it's up to you guys you know yeah go on mamadi go on ma'am can i like uh, can we mention the name of the pet you can if you want to okay ma'am I own a rabbit his name is Jack he is he is the fastest for miles around wherever there is lots of carrots that's where he will be found kaka <laughs> okay come on guys i like, don't give me really you know to the book answers you guys can be more creative please like meat and carrot food come on Man, you have different answers i own i own a um, i own a ha huh, i own a um, sporty sporty fish um the footballers uh, the footballer for miles around hmm. wherever there are lots of ball that's where he will be found okay Go on, guys. So I don't understand what you're supposed to add in the second uh, sentence. Hmm. The dash for miles around. Then you'll have to add an adverb. You'll have done adverbs, right? Okay. Anybody who wants to go? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I own, I own a fit cheetah. Mm -hmm. He he balances for miles around wherever there's there's lots of plain a plain area. That's where he will be found. Okay, good one. Okay, come on i'll just take two more we need to end the session okay amina yushda mamadi come on hurry up guys mamadi where are you
Okay, we need to end the session, guys. <clears throat> Kumera, Anas, anybody wants to give it a try? Yes, please. Go on. I own a fat panda. Um, he sleeps for miles around. Okay. Wherever there's lots of bamboos, that's where he will be found. Oh, great, 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 great. Ma'am, okay. I wrote a poem in the chat. Ma'am, I got one. Yeah, Rushta, go Ma'am, I also got one. Okay, Rushta, go on. I'll see after home. I, um, uh, I own a relatable dragon, <laughs> the most hot-tempered around, where there's lots of room for laziness, that's where he'll be found. Fantastic. Okay. That was really, really brilliant, guys. So you all are becoming poets already. Okay. So thank you so much. Next week. Can, can you see mine in the I, chat? I saw yours. I read it, Ibrahim. Well done. So next week we're going to post. Yes, Mamadi. Yeah, go on. Where did you disappear? I remember my network was one. Now my, my very funny. I own an irritating chicken, the fattiest for miles around, wherever there's a lot of dirt, dirt. You'll find her running around. <laughs> That's so and good. And can I say one time? No, 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 no. We are ending the session, guys. We are all had a chance. I read your story. Well done. Thank you so much. Next week, we're going to discuss our syllabus, okay? Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have fun, guys. Bye, man. Bye. See you.